Hi everyone, we've got a new product to test today. We're going to be looking at the BM41 wireless baby monitor. This is a two screen job. This is a two camera split screen system. So let's get on packing. Okay, here we have the BM41 wireless baby monitor just arrived it's from Campark. You can get that on the website in the link below. It comes with a 4.3 inch baby monitor with two cameras. So you can apparently see both cameras on one display. So you can keep an eye on your baby. So let's get this opened. See there that it needs to be tilted this way. Oh, things are falling out from underneath. So we have a wall mount, we have a USB type adapter for power, let's see what else we've got underneath, another wall mount, another power adapter, another power adapter, okay nothing else underneath, let's move into the side, don't need that, instructions just fell out, we don't need that. Here then, so we have the baby monitor user manual. We can see the two cameras, Wi-Fi, not sure what that's for. Looks like some sort of temperature sensor. That'd be my first guess. This looks like a reset button. Protective film over the top, very good. Infrared, audio, and I presume microphone. Camera itself, oh, sorry, the monitor itself has an antenna. Just having a look. And we have a 3.7 volt 1500 milliamp battery. Very good. I'm presuming this is a stand. Yes, it is. So it can sit, so it sit upright. So you can have it sitting on your desk or on your coffee table or by your bed. Okay, so we'll look at some of the features here then. Safety instructions, main features. So this is obviously going to work on a 2.4 gigahertz stable wireless video. So I presume this is going to communicate directly to the display and that we don't have to worry about our own Wi-Fi. Power on the camera. The camera needs constant power supply to work. Use the included AC adapter, which is a DC 5 volt to power the cameras. Turn on the monitor. And again, it's mainly powered by the internal battery. Please charge the monitor. So that's a rechargeable battery that's in the back of that. Um, press and hold the power button on the monitor for three seconds to power on and then the, the monitor will come alive. Camera and monitor will be paired before packing so there's no need to pair them for the first time. Okay, uh, in case of any accidental disconnection please follow the pairing procedures. USB power in which is number one so that's obviously at the side there of the display. We've got power indicator, volume indicators on the left hand side there, um, power button Channel switch, menu button, okay, direction, okay, music. Ooh, music, what's that about? Intercom, reset, stand bracket, battery cover, da, 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 da. Okay, so music button, in live view, short press to start playing lullabies, and switch lullabies, isn't that cool? 11, there we go, as I presumed, number on this, on the back of the camera here, is the all important temperature sensor, to see if your baby's room is too hot. Okay, so you may need to open the window. That is a concern for young parents and old parents. You wanna make sure that the rooms aren't too hot because that's dangerous to newborns. Okay, so we've got signal strength indicators on the display. We've got the camera channel. We've got the display modes. We have music player status, speaker volume. You can also uh, do a voice message through the room temperature the time and the battery indicator of the display itself so let's have a look at feeding reminder setup okay press the menu and it'll uh, remind you when to do the feeding uh, music player there's a selection of eight different tracks by the look of it you can set up the time the vox sensitivity so you can set up uh, if how loud or how sensitive the audio is pick up to listen to your baby should it wake up in the night and we've got the pairing features here on the menu i think what we'll do is we will switch rooms and we'll go downstairs to the house because i'm in the office and we'll set these up 
and we'll put them in different rooms in the house to see what the signal strength is like because obviously that's going to be a concern for large properties or properties with dense walls so without further ado let's move hi i've moved to the kitchen uh so that we get a better perspective of the range of these things so i've placed a camera uh pointing directly at me from the other side of the kitchen and i've also put a camera um uh, in the living room which is one two three, well, let me count the walls one wall two three four four walls past this this room i'm in now so we've got four walls that it's got to transmit through and give us the temperatures so the cameras are all indicating that they're on and blue we have the device itself i haven't switched this on yet uh, purely because i don't know how to oh there we go so <laughs> indeed on the top there is the on switch so we'll just hold that on for three seconds and then we'll see what we get so that's a live view of my living room now let's see how we get the other room top one hi oh echo so we have the other room now let's see if we can work out how to split screen these okay oh it's already done it options so living room kitchen so this is how we cycle through living room the room i'm in double tap again living room split screen okay so let's test what information we're getting now it's giving me the information that I'm getting 66 Fahrenheit in the other room. Now I'm not a fan of Fahrenheit. We live in the UK, we do it Celsius. So I'm gonna look through the settings to see how I can change that. So we get a centigrade because it does show in the user manual, the display being in centigrade. Right, so we can go to the icons, we'll go to the menu option I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll uh, switch cameras, we'll um, put you on my head and then you can see what I see as we go through this. Um, it's going to be like a bit, I wear this on my head. <clears throat> okay, so I will see you in a second. Okay, so I've had a quick look at this, alright. So the way that we can get through the menu system is by hitting this feature here, which is here. Click on that, and then we have a navigation using the navigation bits on the side. So we can play music, so we can set the music to be on one. Click OK. That will start playing music, and that's giving you a sound indicator at the other side. So you can turn this on your screen down, but that's quite calming. But it's giving you good sound feedback through. Now, if I want to turn that off, I go over and we just select down, click OK, off. There we go. Got that off. A little bit hit and miss. So we're going to go over. Now we can set the time. So it is currently uh, 14.35. OK, so it does it all school. Let's go up to 36. OK, and we switch that up to PM. Come out of that. Now, this is your baby feeding monitoring. Okay, so you can set the time that you can uh, remind yourself. So 30 minute feed, one hour, two hour. Okay, so we'll go over, got the time done. I'm gonna switch that to centigrade and it's instantly changed there. So in the, my living room, currently it is 19 degrees centigrade and it's 2.36 p.m. Okay, and what else have we got? We can recite. Let's just make sure what we're doing. Camera setup, pair a new camera, delete all loop. So it's, it, you can do a looping. Uh, so it will switch between two, both cameras. So let's, let's have a demonstration of that. So it'll loop between all three, sorry, two cameras that it can detect, or you can split screen, which is, there I am. Did tell you I was wearing a big camera, okay. And you can see me just there and we can go down and what you can do is it'll do a cycle so sort of flick between them i think it's like every three or four seconds there we go and it's flicking i'm thinking that camera over there is recording it's not but you can see me there now look 
Okay, so let's listen to, let's switch this looping off. Uh, we're just going to split screen. You can see what it's displaying. So it's showing you camera one. There's camera two. You can hear the voice indicator being active as it's picking up my audio on the side there. Let's play a bit of music. I'm going to turn this down on here. You've no control over the audio that's coming through the camera, but that's quite soothing. You can see here the battery indicator level as well. It's charging up the battery that's in the back. And we can do a Vox. Testing, testing. So you can hear what's coming through by hitting the volume. And you can also turn this brightness up and down as well. And we can change the tune by just hitting the three and you can see which track it's playing. And it will loop through them all or it'll turn them off. So it's off now. Okay, and we can do an audio test. Hello, hello. It's not too bad. Okay. So we've got the Vox set up as well. How do we set up? We can go to what this sounds like. So it's low, medium, and high. Click on that. If we now Vox, hello. Hello, hello, hello. So that's how sensitive the camera is going to be to the sound that's in the room. You can see there, if we lower it, bang, bang, bang. And we can even turn it off if need be, which I wouldn't recommend. But it's good. you really want to hear what's going on in the room. So we'll just keep it in low. And that's basically it. That's my living room. Uh, the I'm going to bring this up to the camera. It's looping now. Split screen, and that's on camera one. Now, the only light, obviously, basic rule of uh, cinematography is don't point your camera at the bright source. But that's, like I say, this is just purely a range, and it's giving me a signal strength there of that camera as being quite high, as you can see there. So it's quite high, that's good. So it's also giving you camera number, and it's only showing me camera one. It's not playing any music, and the volume is uh, Vox is set to low. Just giving you a better view of the menu system, which is accessed here on this button. So we can go through the various settings. So feeding, audio, music, the time, the temperature, readout, how you prefer, um, how you're playing the cameras, and you can unpair them, and then the Vox in terms of audio setup. So with Vox function on, the environment is relatively quiet. Um, but yeah, it's all good. I actually really like this, um, and I can't wait for my daughter to get using it as she's expecting her second child. Other than that, great bit of kit. That's the speaker on the back, battery, everything in there that you need, and the cameras are really good. So hopefully you've enjoyed this little demonstration. And if you've got any questions uh, as I play around with this a little bit more, um, I'll be happy to answer those in the comment section below. Thank you for watching. Bye.